Good evening guys, it's Anneli from Sweden. I'm um, here today to give you a little update on my life, what I'm doing and what I have done. And to begin with, I want to say thank you to um, three people. I uh, saw a picture of uh, tassels on uh, a Facebook page and it was uh, Ingmarie Andersson from Sweden that has made these tassels. And uh, I asked her to do a tutorial, but instead she uh, <laughs> she sent me four of these absolutely amazing tassels. I, uh, I, I really can't understand how she do this. It's uh, perfect, beautiful and uh, full of creativity. Just look at all these different shades and patterns of this purple little beautiful tassel. And this is just one. Here we go with uh, another one she has sent me. Look at these beautiful pearls. And uh, this thingy that you put the textile in. But this bead, hand painted uh, little bead with roses. I just love this little bead. And uh, then look at this. A shimmer of uh, different uh, purple, pinky, summer colors. I just love this. Uh, I asked uh, her to do the tutorial and she said no, but I can make you one. And this is uh, actually four that she has sent to me. And uh, thank you so much, Ingemarie. You are a really artist when you are uh, making these journal tassels and your journals, of course. And uh, she, <laughs> she know that I love turquoise. Look at this glass bead. It's heavy. And uh, this is just amazing. Buttons, small mother of pearl in turquoise. Small beads, laces, uh, yarn textile it's totally amazing i love every inch of this and number four what a little beauty this uh, must be some kind of handmade uh, pearl Shimmering. And just look at this. This is creativity in uh, high levels. I love it, love it, love it, Ingmarie. Thank you so, so much for this. I will put these in uh, some of my own journals and enjoy every second of them. This is some kind of flat overlap on the textile. I don't know what they are called, but uh, I guess they are especially done for these type of things. 
So my friend, that was Ingmar Andersson. And then I have to say a big thank you to another girl. And that's Eve Spade. She have sent me, I did uh, win some uh, uh, giveaway on the YouTube. And she sent me a lot of different uh, printables, papers, and uh, I just love these, uh, these ones. Looks like they are sewn in different shades, shapes and uh, it was a lot of different uh, kind of papers but these ones i have used to do some uh, going to do some tabs in my next journal and uh, i have made it from uh, will make it from a really old uh, book and this is uh, original from 1800 and uh, as an insert in this I have used leather paper and I will make it like this so it will be bigger size and into these ones there are going oops a lot of uh, different papers I have just uh, begun this uh, new journal With different printables, papers, tea dyed, and uh, old book pages from 1887. And uh, I have used these like this. I have sewn them onto the same 100% linen that I have coffee dyed. And these are going into the journal. And just look how beautiful this is, these uh, printables with the linen on top of this. I have sewn it onto this coffee dyed linen and they turned out so nice. This is uh, from another old book paper. They are so fragile, so I wanted to give them a little strength. So I put them on another piece of linen. So uh, Eve Spade's name is uh, Collective Chickadee. Eve Spade Hunter Check her out uh, Ingmar Andersson does not have an uh, any YouTube but uh, you can find her on Facebook or ask me and I will uh, if you want to reach out for her Give me a little um, hint and I will uh, see that you get the message from you. So this uh, is the next journal I will work on. And then uh, I want to show you a one that I already have made. Just have to put these away. Some of you saw this one that I worked on uh, earlier with uh, this beautiful uh, vintage laces, some printables. So I thought I should show you, this is uh, my personal one. This is some old pattern from my farm. This is my grandfather's mother, her initials on a uh, pillowcase she made for her um, wedding. So this is from uh, the middle of 1800. So
so um, on the inside I have used leather paper and uh, put a textile on it you might see the flowers shimmery and a vintage lathe that I have dyed with coffee another uh, vintage lace onto a printable and I I'm not going to use this as to write in I'm just going to have it use the pockets and uh, so that I can use it over and over again. This is another original old paper from 1909. And uh, this is the man that built my farm that I live on here in Sweden now. And this is a payment that he have made. And I have just uh, put this uh, on with a little paper clip so it tabs on the other side. Another beautiful monogram that's, uh, that is a page with a pocket so you can uh, put things behind this. And this one I just left, this is uh, Chinese art paper so it's uh, a little uh, thin almost like old photo paper the next page is uh, also a uh, pocket on both sides and this paper is uh, my own uh, print of the old lace that I have uh, printed out And coffee dyed laces. A little touch of turquoise, of course, with a uh, Tim Holtz pocket. Another lace page. With a pocket. A small one with a little color so that you can see that it's uh, you can see through it more laces and uh, old paper this is original uh, paper from a book 1851 this is a uh, so you can put something in behind there and uh, a pocket, side pocket, like that. And it's sewn with some more old lace. More of the thin paper. Another pocket. This is leather, white white leather that I have sewn into this with uh, this lace on 1871 another uh, original old paper 1898 a lot of uh, different laces And uh, behind this is a pocket. The other side is also a pocket, a thin lace, very old and antique. This is another printable of my lace paper and then I have put a real one in the corner of the same print another beautiful old uh, antique lace also to use as a pocket tuck spot 
more original paper, 1851. Another uh, side tuck. Piece of an old uh, book paper, also original. Memory of uh, a special day and uh, its grandma that have, uh, uh, she have got this from grandma. Memory from grandma. And uh, he, down here we have this beautiful old antique lace, very thin, masterpiece. Thin paper with uh, another original paper, 1819, the Swedish hymn book, with the hymns in uh, the church. Another old book piece, book paper, and uh, a little uh, embossed Tim Holtz pocket with an original old photo from my farm. Tucked in this uh, little is also original old paper and a little uh, die cut with the fern another pocket this uh, pocket you might remember there were many of you that uh, loved this uh, butterfly onto the pocket so we have place behind to put something More original papers from my farm, and uh, this is an old letter. And uh, these girls are also from uh, my farm. So old, I don't know who they are, but uh, it's fun to have. And another invoice from 1903. They have uh, bought uh, candy, carrots, uh, and they have paid two sixty five Swedish crowns. Nineteen o two. Fun to have, and uh, this old letter is, uh, I have glued it down, a piece of it, so that you can still can read it and use it as a pocket. And some old lace on the top. Really old bookmark, also antique one. More of my printed paper with the lace. Another old book paper and more of this thin beautiful lace. And this is the printed lace. Uh, side pocket also original uh, old letter from my farm and this is the original lace from uh, 
if we can find the printable of it. There you go, there is uh, the printable and here we have the original. The other side of this uh, beautiful lace pocket. And we are almost at the end. Another pocket from a beautiful antique doily. And also pockets on the front and the back. Like this. And the back of the book. So this is uh, my next uh, diary to use every day and uh, put my thoughts in. And I guess this is uh, one of my favorite ever that I have made. It's a uh, perfect size and uh, all filled with uh, old memories and uh, beautiful laces. So that was my journal and now my friends you are going to jump. It's actually so big so I can't get it in my I have to do take my phone and uh, move back so that you can see all of my journal. This is a journal that uh, Kathleen have made for me, Kathleen Sundby in Canada have gifted me this one and uh, it has all of these small dangles. Uh, it was a big box, two kilos and it was filled with uh, goodies and uh, old uh, beautiful stuff and uh, it was so beautifully wrapped with all these dangles on and uh, this key was on this one and uh, I just took it off now so it won't make a nose when we are looking at it. It's made from old piano paper, piano roll some uh, Tim Holtz uh, paper, old, another old paper, and this paper is almost looking like leather. Totally amazing. So, so breathable, breathtaking. And then it's that said breath marks. <laughs> Take a full breath. And uh, you really need to do that when you are going to see this. This is, uh, I think this is one of the most spectacular journals I have ever seen. It's totally big. I have to measure it for you. Uh, my ruler is uh, 12 inch and it's almost uh, so it's uh, 12 by 6 just like this and then you have to see it uh, fold out just have to get my ruler in place uh, the closing tab is uh, leather and uh, this is uh, beautiful sari silk. You should go and see her uh, movies on YouTube. She makes the most beautiful things. And look at this. It's like a birthday cake, wedding cake. <laughs> 
the first you can see is this uh, totally amazing old you can see that it's very old seam binding and this is a writing journal and uh, i i lost my breath now when i open this up and uh, i have it by my bed every evening and uh, just looking at it over and over again. Get this dress in the middle of the the book and all these beautiful old papers. And this is a special uh, cluster uh, thingy she have with uh, three tapes. She done this uh, in her most of her journal and. Uh, it's so clever and the inside is uh, textile sewn and uh, totally amazing and this was just the first page i'm sorry about the uh, you can't see whole the whole journal but i can't um, move my phone any higher in my um, trifold so um, this is an old photo frame and uh, this is uh, the spine that is sewn in with three different layers of textile. like a fairy tale the whole journal i <laughs> i totally love it i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself but i'm so in love with this journal all this history in it and uh, artwork some tim holtz paper and it's sewn all around it's so well done look at these small small tags and so much work on each little thing behind that we have another card with the tab on and old music paper and behind it old music paper and then this beautiful butterfly on the edge antique papers so thin and so fragile ruffles beautiful tabs on old paper yes you, you can see it yourself it's uh, breathtaking look at this little cluster with the doily the flower a little little lace piece so exquisite and it's so different from any other journal i have seen and as i myself uh, is very um, not not getting out of my box i have a hard time making these uh, different uh, sizes and shades and i get so inspired by this i will try and try again even if i won't get into this kind of uh, art I can't uh, reach so high with my art knowledge but uh, it will inspire me just have to show you this little cluster too this beautiful old textile
more old papers and this is a record it's a been a record in it and uh, all originals and these uh, lovely tape clusters just love them another of these beautiful tabs and old papers and the back of the old I guess this is a shoe looks like uh, or is it the record you can see from the side maybe you can really see that it's old it's probably it's the record but I almost uh, made it look like a dancing shoe and these small paper clips made with so much love Oh, Kathleen, you are a really, really artist. I s I'm so in love with all of your things. And as you see, it just goes on and on with all of these beautiful, and this is all a flip out. and I'm very sure this is original another flip out and look at this collaged paper sewn and collaged on each other with a tab from Edith Holden book and this I just love this and the paper it uh, it was wrapped in paper and then in a beautiful um, crocheted doily uh, tablecloth uh, doily big one and uh, then these laces on top of that so i almost couldn't uh, open it up i didn't want to open the packaging it was uh, so nice done just look at these different colors in shades and in oh i just love this Another of these beautiful cards. These different shades of papers and uh, numbers, love numbers. And tags and all these uh, small tickets. Another fold out. Look at this. Oh. Kathleen, Kathleen, this is amazing. And this fold out pocket and this beautiful little tabs. And all she is uh, uh, very good at this that you can see it's beautiful from all sides you can't uh, decide which uh, way is uh, the right side or the wrong side it's different sides but uh, just as beautiful so 
so uh, then when you close it you have this flip from this side so you can uh, put it over like that and then this one and you wrap it all around and put it in like this and then you have this beautiful little dangle on top of it thank you again Kathleen I love 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 your journal and uh, I will treasure it as uh, much I just can through my whole life this will be one of my most treasured things I own really really love it so that was uh, 36 minutes of uh, goodies in uh, different uh, shapes and shades I hope you get some uh, inspiration from uh, this ones now I'm uh, going to uh, sit down and uh, make some uh, snippet clusters the orders are uh, coming in and I have uh, sold the amount of uh, 150 that I made <laughs> so now I have to make some more but uh, that's a uh, nice problem to have when you all love these snippets so much that I make so uh, I will gladly make some more of these snippets for you so uh, this was all from Sweden uh, right now I will uh, be back working on my next journal so uh, you can uh, follow the work of the one with this uh, old original cover with a lot of uh, laces and uh, decorations I guess this can be really nice vintage style journal so until next time have a nice evening and bye bye from sweden